Welcome to the Taf Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by Taf Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the Taf Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Welcome back to another episode of TAF Hub. My name is Anita C, Marketing Manager for TAF Africa Global. I'm here with my red helmet on the top floor of TAF Twins, one of the towers right here, Panifing Institutional Area, an upcoming business hub in the Gambia. Stay with me, we're going to be learning everything there is to know about one of these beautiful towers that TAF Africa Global are building. Let's find Uncle Taff, who knows all the things we need to know about Taff Twins in Canifing Institutional Area an upcoming business district in Hanifing Institutional Area, not the industrial area, and the man himself, Uncle Taff. Hi, Anita. How are you? Not bad, See, not bad. I kept the red helmet wow, on. You got me on Safety this one, first, huh? but corporate colors always on my mind. Wow. And you too, So right? with the t-shirt. <laughs> yes. I've, I've got the white one. The white one is for the foundation. Oh. As we go here. Always See? got foundation Stop on your the foundation is there. <laughs> and that's why I've got a white helmet. But we've got the black pants. Yeah. Both See? of us. Great minds. Things wow. alike. <laughs> wow, that's right. So please tell me about Taft Twins. I didn't know you'd be here today, but yeah. I saw your car and I was like, I had a little play with the car. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Uncle Taft can tell us all we need to know about Taft Twins is your project. That's right, yeah. So the Taft Twins, it's um, a structure of uh, ground plus five and a half floors. Okay. And each floor is 1,000 square meters. That's huge. Yeah, the ground floor is made of, of retail or commercial. So you're going to have restaurants here, you know, cafes, you know, so commercial and some few shops. Just like Madiba Mall. Just like Madiba Mall. Perfect. So what, we, what, is, what, what has happened is that we have learned from the demand that we have in Madiba Mall. Mm -hmm. And obviously this is, this is better position than Madiba Mall. Yes. Because this is on your way to Banjul. That's right. So from here to Banjul, really, it's about, what, 10 minutes drive. Perfect. To Banjo. Mm -hmm. And then if you're going to Senegambia, it's about another 10 minutes that you're in Senegambia. So it's well located and then you go into Pipeline, which is quite busy. Mm -hmm. All the banks are there. Yes. And then the stadium is just a stone throw away. You know, you can walk to the stadium. So location is perfect for everything that you want to do. So now the ground floor, as I said, you're going to have a retail here, um, restaurants, shops and so on. And then you have a lot of parking space. Because when you do these things, you need to consider parking. That's right. So you've got a lot of parking space on the ground floor. So that's on the ground floor. But let me just show you around. Now, when you come into the ground floor, you have two elevators here. This is what they call the lift shaft. Right. So the lifts are going to be here. Okay. So we've made provision for two lifts. It's that's not right. only one, Good. but two. Because you're going to have retail in here mm -hmm. and then you're going to have offices and we're also looking at probably putting residential apartments up there yeah just in case people are interested so this is great this we've got disabled access in the building yes yes Perfect. so again you need to consider dis disabled yes when people are coming with wheelchairs yeah so they can easily go in and then from here you've got two stairwells mm -hmm. so you've got you've got stairs in there stairs are there and also you've got the escape stairs at the back let me just show you. Yeah. So you've got, you've got the escape stairs at the back. And that's, that's very important if you have a building like this. So we are at the back now. And you can see the stairs are there. Nice. So that's what they call the escape stairs. Okay. So if there's anything wrong, God forbid, in case of fire, 
and you've got the staircase in there then this is where then you use the escape stairs at the back okay great so you have reason good access throughout but let's still stay in the ground floor so now in the ground floor as you can see here these are all the docks that have been set in so all the pipe work all the electric cables the underground cables that are going to come in everything has been put in place then for the toilets all these are in all the pipe work is in now what you see here is a duct for electrical for electrical and for telecommunication okay so everything is well ducted because it's a smart building too right yeah it's a smart building so everything has been a provision has been made for all these here and you have to cater to different businesses like medieval mall you have various businesses yes yes so it has yes, to indeed. be adaptable yeah, yeah yeah it is and then let's look at the ceiling here you see the ceiling is quite high it's about five meters high wow so we've got a high ceiling in there now all the cladding the provision for the cladding has been made mm -hmm. so all these openings have been made, have been made now and all that actually they're in town now so very soon you're going to see the place all painted and the cladding fitted. We've come at the right time. Yeah. Is yeah. there a right time? Good. So it's all an open plan. As we rent the place out, we just partition it. So, okay, let's say I'm a business owner. Let's talk about the ground floor. I have a shop and I want one of these spaces. Does that mean that you will accommodate it to suit my needs? You modify it and everything? No, we actually, we don't modify it. We just, we just partition because partition it's, it's, it yeah, it's all open. Okay. As you can see, all the columns are in. Mm -hmm. So all you do is you partition and we partition them, you know, grid by grid. Like this is one grid here. Okay. As you can see, from there to there, there are no columns. Right. Actually, we've only made provision for the partition. So, so, so as we're renting it out, then it's based on the space uh, that we've provided. So what's the smallest space and the biggest space you can get here? Well, the smallest space you can get is about 44 or 45 square okay. meters. Okay. And then the biggest that you can have is about 88 square meters. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So, um, and then if you want both, it can be combined. Yeah. But I have a feeling that the ground floor, we have very little left here. Yeah. 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 The ground floor, I think, is almost gone on one of the structures, which is this one here. Well, that's amazing for anyone taking the office upstairs. It means they've got amenities right here. Yes, yes, right here. And as you, as you can see, all this pipe work in there, that's all for the lighting. Okay. So the ceiling is suspended, and then we have now started all the piping up for the electrics. Okay. So that's for the ground floor. Maybe I should take you on a walk. Yeah. We and go actually, up. while we're on the ground floor, tell us about the exterior. You mentioned about the new facade coming in soon. So in terms of a business owner, what have you done to bring costs down, service charges and so on? It's a smart building. So what does that mean? Well, when, when, it's, when, we, when we say smart, I mean, like moving around, we, things will be keyless. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a car to go in. You know, as you come in, you, you must be, again, uh, you'll go through security. As you see in the advanced world, yes. that if you are coming in, you have to swipe your card, you know, to, to be able to come in. So it will slide, slide, slide for you to go in. So we, we try, we, we're moving away from all the keys, the conventional keys that you have, which of easily you can lose. Yes, that's true. So you can imagine the number of people who are coming through here. Once you have your card, we can open it and it will slide out. Nice. It's gonna now be the, the exterior, good. yes, the exterior, they're all double glazed. So again, it's well insulated, mm -hmm. it's reflective, mm -hmm. toughened glass. Toughened glass. Yes, the glass is toughened. Okay. So these are things that you must consider for safety. Mm -hmm. Because you're going up, in the event that something goes you know, wrong with the glass, it will just shatter. You know. I believe it's toughened, it's very hard, and it will not get broken. Good. Yeah. Good. And again, on the parking for the outside, we're going to grow trees there, and then get the cars to park under it. Nice. Okay, good. We'll get some pictures up now just to see the yes, end product yes. for everybody. Now, if you want to go up, let's use the stairs to go up. Maybe we'll use the water one to come down. Okay. You see, it's quite dark here, mm -hmm. but you're going to have railings in here. Okay. So that's why it's construction, but you can see all these rails here. Mm -hmm. And safety is key on our construction site, as yes. you can see. Yes. So you see, we've made provision so that nobody just falls over. That's right. So whilst we're building, we consider safety. And that's why we have our, our side shoes on, yes. safety shoes. We have the reflectors and the, the helmet. helmet. So on this floor here, that's surely going to be offices. 
and you can have it as open as possible, as big as possible, or you can divide by half. So meaning you can have about 500 square meters of offices here, yep. another 500 square meters that side. Otherwise, you can divide it into four. Mm -hmm. So you have 250 on the side each, 250, 250, and then on the other side, 250, 250. That's why it's good to have it so open. Yeah. So as the demand comes in, people are interested, then you put it in. Again, on each side, you've made provision for toilets. Okay. So these are the toilets in here, on each side. But there's also a common toilet. Right, on each floor. On each floor. That's great. So what we've done, what we've done really is that in case you have, let's say, a manager or a managing director mm -hmm. that wants his own private facilities, yes. then it's attached. Okay. But then there's provision for general toilets okay. where all the members of staff, they'll go in, both for male and for female. So even on the ground floor where you have the shops, they'll have their own toilets. Each floor is independent. Each floor is independent. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, for sure. Great. So you can see how open it is, huh? Really open. It will be well lit up. You can see the concrete lift shaft again in here. So you see all these holes here mm -hmm. are for the plumbing pipes that are going to go up. Okay. This is where the toilets are, the general toilets are going to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's, let's go up from the back this time. Yeah. So that's the, what we, what, that's the back stairs or what you call the fire, the fire escape. Mm -hmm. This is the back, back, back that you That you showed here. us downstairs. Yeah. So all the way up. Again, safety is key. Handrail is down here. That's for safety. While construction is still going on. You look at the beams, how thick they are. Okay. And what are these That's, for? This, this is the concrete beam. This is the concrete beam. You, you've got the columns, you can see how thick the columns are. Okay. But look at the beams. That's a 500 millimeter deep beam. Reinforced concrete. You know the irony, Uncle Tap? It says, seek knowledge. I probably need to learn more about <laughs> concrete beams. <laughs> That's right. And you see, the higher you go, the better the view. Yes. Yes. So you see, maybe we can just take a walk around and you'll see the view from here. You see? And this is just on the second floor. Wow. Wow. So you see the view from here? That's the second floor. Nice. Lovely. The ceiling um, on the first, second, and the rest going up is lower than the ground floor. Okay. Because the ground floor is more public. Yes. You know, when you have uh, cafes, restaurants, shops and so on, there's more traffic there than the offices themselves. Yeah. Oh, I can see the stadium from here. Yeah, you can. But, yeah. but until you go much higher, you will wow. see it. You will see it, you know. So yeah, that's the stadium over there. Yeah, yeah. the mosque is here. It's a really good location. Yeah. Excellent location. It's really nice. So maybe let, let's go up now yeah. to the third floor. So this is the second floor. And you can see the quality of the concrete, huh? Yes. Very well done, nicely vibrated, you know, so you don't see bubbles in the concrete. Mm -hmm. That assures you that the quality is very good. This is the third floor. It feels higher. Yeah. So a third floor. So when we say third, it means ground plus, plus three. three. So four floor. So four, what do we call it in the Gambia? They will call it four stories. Four stories. Yes. <laughs> so so, so the, when the building is ready here, it's, it's six stories and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half stories. Yeah. So, so yeah, there you see again, view much better. Mm -hmm. The higher you go and you can feel the wind blowing yeah, from here. Yeah, nice. So when you are here probably, all you need to do is just open up your, your windows and you'll have some good view. Yeah, and you'll have patio doors now with a new design. Yes, yes, Perfect. we have patio doors. We have patio doors. Great. Yeah. So when you stand here, that's the... Wow, that's an ambulance going to Banjo. So there you go. That's the National Audit Office. Okay. Over there. And then you have uh, Takwa Mosque in here. And then you have the football, the football stadium over there. And this goes to traffic lights. Yeah. So it's well positioned. Banjo that way. Yeah. Traffic lights, Senegambe, Senegambe everything down that way. And, and then basically. that's the Independence Stadium. stadium. So Bakao, Fajara, this way. And then the Ministry of Works and Pipeline Mosque goes you this, takes you this way. Nice. So it's quite central. So you're going to have railings here. Mm -hmm. 
you know, the glass ratings are going to be here. Okay. And then you're going to have some shades, aluminum shades dropping in here. So we're going to start the finishes um, this month. All this, the material is here. All this will be done and we'll start finishing up. Finishing up. So this month, February 2023? Yes, nice. yes. We're going to start all the finishes. Good. I yeah. know you had a lot of inquiries. A lot of people waiting to move in. Yes, yes, yeah? yes. They are. They yes. Are. Now let's go on. I think there's, um, the props are in the fourth floor. And this is why you put up your hard hearts. Even if it ruins your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even while, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a guy. So you see this is what happens, so yes. be careful there. But you, although you've got a hard heart, you still have to be careful. That's true. So on this floor here, we've got the props because we are pouring the fifth floor slab. So we'll just do this. You can see all the props all done. You know, for those wow. who are very technical, we'll see how well they are all done. This is the foam work that you need to pour the fifth slab. So here where we're standing is the fourth floor. This is amazing. Yeah. Do you want to go up? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so we're now going up to the fifth floor. Then you'll at least have an idea of what a view you will have as you go up. So you can see here, with all the reinforcement done, so look at the steel. See how thick the steel is? Yes. That's a 25 mm. When we say 25 mm, meaning the, the, the radius of the steel is 25 millimeter. And you can see the number of bars that are sticking out. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And you've got these that are called the links, or they call the rings also. And these are 10 millimeter. Right. Normally you'll see people using 6 mm for these and then 12 for these. Right. So this is superior yeah, quality. Because the reason is it is designed by engineers after doing all the geotechnical studies mm -hmm. and doing all the calculations. So they design the slab to be like this. You can see how neat it is, you know? Yes. Very neat. Beams are very deep. And we've made provision for all the services, all the docks are in. So from this floor, from the fifth floor, actually you can watch the football match from here. Yes, Uncle oh, Dallas, all I'm thinking. You see? You can watch the football. And look at the greenery, yeah? Just look at the horizon, huh? Beautiful. So that's what you see here. So this is the fifth floor. And we're considering putting apartments here. So if there's anybody who's interested in apartments and living here, please give us a call. Because that's what we're flexible. So it will be now a leave and walk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't play. No, we we'll drop the play. Let's go to play. Area. It's the institutional area. Yeah. Live and work. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we have here. So at this stage here, you can see all the slabs are done, ready to pour the concrete. And then there's a flight. They've made provision now for another stairs to come. There's a half floor that goes on top of this. Okay. That's why it's six and a half stories. Six and a half stories. And then on the rooftop, we're going to put a lot of solar panels. Again, green. Making sure that, you know, the, 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 um, uh, the building is green. So we will now use alternative energy for here. Because you have a thousand square meters of rooftop to play around with. So what better way can you use it than having all the solar panels up there? So we're talking a modern building yeah. in a century located upcoming business hub. Yeah. And it's going to be affordable. Yes, affordable. Yeah. That's amazing. We always consider affordability That's as right. one of our strong points. That's right. That's yeah. really good. Well done, Uncle Taf. Great. We look forward to this one. And yeah. the apartments at the top, consider me for one of those. And it will be a penthouse, huh? Oh, yes. Imagine, huh? <laughs> Accessibility is fast. 10 minutes away from Banjul, 10 minutes away from Senegambia, and then a better view. If you want to play, that's the stadium. You know, you know I'm, I'm a bit nostalgic when I'm on site. Huh? Can you imagine? You know, I celebrated my birthday, 66. <laughs> oh. Now, as I count, I mean, this is now in September. I will have 48 years of active working life. 48. Where were you at the time? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare steps, <laughs> Uncle Tav. It's quarter to 10 in the morning. Yeah. I'm on 1,932 steps. Wow, you've done well. And me, let's, let me see what I've done here. <laughs> I am at 6,785. Okay. <laughs> but you know why? 
because I did my jogging on the beach. <laughs> I woke up early, went to the beach, and I've done 6,000 there already. I want my second coffee and I've only done 1,000 <laughs> steps. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so let's go down now. But I mean, Anita, I love, I love coming to sight. Uh, this is what um, uh, gives me pleasure. And uh, this is my oxygen. I mean, when I'm on site, it, I just feel like, oh, I think about the days when I was only 19 years old, 20 years old, and running around the site, you know, with my instrument as a surveyor, as a supervisor. But I love it. So the question I get asked all the time is, oh, but when are you going to retire? So one time I asked somebody who said, well, okay, if I retire, what do I do? You know what he told me? He said, oh, you have to find a passion. I said, but my passion is work. There you go. So, I am an active retiree. <laughs> <laughs> Not all retirees look the same though, right? I <laughs> love it, I love right? it, I love Let's it. Go down. Let's go down now. Okay, bye, good job. See bye, you. Bye, bye, bye. See you, see you, all right, see okay. You. Ciao, ciao. There's only one thing left to do. Let's head to Madiba Mall. That's actually where the office is anyway, so I'm heading there anyway. Um, let's get the boots off. Head to Madiba Mall and go have a look and see what a future TAF Twin will look like because Madiba Mall is very similar to what we're gonna have here at TAF Twin. So we'll have the retail spaces downstairs and the offices upstairs. I'm back at Madiba Mall. This is actually where head office is. So this is where we are based on the first and the second floor. But similar to Taft Twins, so you have retail on the ground floor. And if you have a look at that sign there, you can see the list of all the different businesses that we have here. Some of them are my favorites. So, I mean, I go into them every day. So today, I'll take you in to see my favorite ones. But we'll also make sure you get an idea of what a modern Madiba Mall will look like, which of course will be the Taft Twins in kind of thing, an even more central location. But let's just have a look at what we have at Madiba Mall. Good morning, hello. Right, so if we go this way, first stop for me is always coffee. Everybody asks about my energy levels, it's the coffee. I have like maybe five cups a day. My first cup, I like to have a cafe Zola. So let's go have a look at what we have here. So as you walk along, you can see all the different shops that we have here. Few options. So first, my favorite coffee spot, Cafe Zola. Good morning. Hi, Anita. good morning, Mood. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How I are you? I brought the camera crew with me today. Okay, that's okay. That's uh, okay. Just because I want to have my favorite coffee in my uh, favorite place. Okay. So go ahead. You know uh, what I like? Yes, flat white. Double shot. Double shot. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So would you like to have a breakfast? You know what? Today we're on the move, so no breakfast, but okay. just my double shot coffee. But we'll shot in the menu. There's a few options here. Yes, we have wraps for the breakfast. We also have a full English breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, also, you can also uh, create your own breakfast on the breakfast your way. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. And your opening hours again? Uh, we open from Monday to Friday. We open from uh, 8 o'clock till uh, 7. And on Saturday, we open from 8 till 9 because that's we normally have cocktail nights. Oh, a cocktail yeah, night. Yeah, well, we yeah. never see that because we leave. But that's the whole point. Retail downstairs, office is upstairs. So, more do my coffee, please. No please problem, Anita. Let me get to your flat white. Thank you. There you go, Anita. Very much, Rodu. So everybody was asking about my energy levels. Okay. Kind of, this is the secret, right? It's all in the coffee. Sure, double <laughs> shot flat white. Start your day with cafe zola, and you're gonna be happy for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're See welcome. You later. Yeah, have a good day. I will. I've got my coffee. Well. Right, I've got my coffee. Energy levels are up. But just have a look. So you have a furniture show, um, furniture store here. HMM, office furniture, kitchen furniture. So they have a lot of furnishings that you can see. You have KBJ conferences, Make 3D. This is a really exciting company here as well. And then obviously, 
before we go upstairs, let me just take you around again. So, this is Africa's Pride Black Directory and Business Centre. Again, another small business here, operating in Medieval Moor. Then you have a Western Union transfer, Nordic pool. But let's go to another one of my favorite stores. I'm going to grab you. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Oh, so cheerful. Well, I've got my coffee. That's the <laughs> secret. But please come with me. I want to show off your little gallery while I'm here. Mm -hmm. I was just saying to them um, that Medieval Mall is almost like what Taft Twins will be, what Taft Twins will be an improved version. But it's just the variety we have here. So I'll let you introduce yourself and show yes. around. Okay, welcome to Zay Zay Gallery. Yes, we're based here at Medieval Mall. And um, the object of the gallery is to present Gambian artists, whether they're carvers, like this carving for instance, whether they're painters, whether they're from the iron. We also have textiles and we also have the Asho'oke. This is from Nigeria. Wow. We have Adiri, which is another fabric, textile fabric of Africa. Yeah. So how long have you been here? I've been here from November. November, so you're fairly new here. I'm, fa I'm a baby. Why did you choose Medieva Moor? Um, I chose Medina One. Not to be, it's not discrimination anyway, but it's Gambian owned. Yeah, okay. And it's about us starting to support each other and to elevate each other. So I think it's very important to support Gambian business owners. Nice. And you like it here? It's a good location. I do. I like it here. It's nice, especially the way they've done it in the red and white. Yes, you yes, yes. You can't miss it on the high street. Corporate colors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you and, know what? And the, and the t-shirt. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, I love the blue, royal blue. It looks lovely. Thank you. And why don't you introduce yourself? Come on, tell them who you so, are. I'm Zaya. I'm from the UK, uh, but I now call myself Gambo because mm -hmm. I reside here in the Gambia. Um, my spirit told me to come to Gambia to relocate. Never been to Gambia in my life. Never been to the continent, but I got that inspirational, spiritual urge that Gambia was for me. So here I am. I'm gonna get more on your story. Yes. Guys, I promise you, and I always keep promises, I'm gonna get your story yes. and I'm gonna tell them. But today we're showing off the gallery. So yes. Let's just have a quick walk through. Yes, so come Wow, through. this is amazing. This is lovely. Yes. And so this these, is right here in Madiba Moor. Yes, and these artifacts here, I got from the Gambia. Nice. I'm still doing research as to where they're from because okay. I've got this um, nice piece here which is made out of ivory, I think. It's, a, it's like a bird with a, and a knife. Whoa. And this is an old time pipe. Nice. Can you see that? So yes, yeah. so if there's anyone out there who knows about antiquities, Yes, I would appreciate your input. Okay, great. Yes. Well, we'll get your contact details on yes. the screen. And we have a library here. And this is, this is where you can, you can come in. We have Wi-Fi. You can sit down. We can give you samples of the herbal teas from the Gambia while you peruse some of the books. They're not for purchase. They're just for you to sit down, enjoy your tea, enjoy the environment, and also be sort of informed. I love it. The last African warriors. African masters, African ceremonies. I love it. I love it. And this is right here in Bruford, Medieval Mall in Bruford. It's a hidden gem and it's not hidden for too much longer because we're going to make sure everybody knows about Medieval Mall and Taft Twins. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm coming to chat to you later on. Okay, All right. See you okay. later. Bye. 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 Okay. Let's get to work. On the first floor, and on the first floor, you have all these companies just here. There's also the second floor. <laughs> okay, so this is where the actual offices are. Yes, I have a cigarette. So, just here we have tap offices on this floor and the second floor. Up. Say hi, Alice. <laughs> Back of the um, first floor, you have a few offices that are on this side. You've got GPFI, they do facilities management, so they're based here. Um, and with any modern building, you have your fire hose. So safety is key, there's smoke alarms, and you'll have the same thing in Taftrin. So imagine an improved modern version of Madiba Mall, but in Canifing. Canifing institutional area. But let's focus on Madiba Mall while we're here. 
second floor. Now this is actually where Uncle Taft's office is. So first floor and second floor. And we also have other companies. Hi Mayan. Hello. Uh, so just for example, the partitions that we talked about in Taft Twins. This is an example exactly how we partition it off. So before this was done, it would have looked a bit like that. And then we then cut it off according to your requirements. So the same concept in Taft Twins. So you've seen a quick tour of Medieval Mall and just try and visualize Taft Twins in 2023, the first tower, lovely new facade, all wall painted, just like Medieval Mall, patio doors so you can step out and have some fresh air after a long day of meetings in a modern building with your service charges always at the top of our minds which means that it's affordable for you, the business owner. So, a uh, modern medieval mall in Canning Institutional Area, Taft Twins, that's what it's all about. Stay tuned, stay subscribed for more updates on the Taft Twins.